and uh, Bye. we now uh, thanks we now move to the next group of speakers of the university of bologna uh, i'd like to introduce federico zaina nicolo marchetti licio uh, proserpio and julia scazzosi uh, hi good morning, everyone. good morning uh, can you hear me? hi welcome yes thank we can you. hear you thank you thank you very much and um, Federico is going to talk to us about the Euro-Iraqi Partnerships for Cultural Heritage Preservation and Archaeological Practice Development, the Waladu and Edu projects. Thank you, and uh, yes, I leave the word to you. Okay, just let me uh, share the screen. Uh uh, I have some return on the audio. Uh, I'm all okay, alone. In... Okay, great. Can you uh, can you see my 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 PowerPoint yes. presentation? Okay, yes. great. So I can I can go ahead. Okay. Um, in in the last decades, uh, deep um, societal and economic changes, mostly due to the dramatic conflicts occurring since the 1990s and the consequences of their um, aftermath. Uh, this state of uncertainty, uh, the internal conflicts and crises further increased after the uh, Second World War in 2003 and the emergence of uh, um, ISIS between 2014 and 2017. Um, among others, these events had also a strong impact on the relation between national institutions, universities, uh, local authorities, and the civil societies. Uh, such disruptions were, um, were apparent also in the field of uh, archaeology and cultural heritage, for example, um, facing a decrease of university research and teaching activities, or uh, a substantial drop of excavation and restoration projects all over the country, um, a weakening of national authorities in the protection of archaeological sites, and an um, increase of looting and destructive actions and, uh, and finally, of course, a fragmentation of uh, Iraq's social cohesion, uh, also due to the lack of understanding of the common national heritage. So against this backdrop, um, since uh, the late uh, um, 2000s, a slow increase of archaeological and cultural heritage projects, as well as initiatives aiming at improving uh, in um, the, um, the overall um, higher education system have been uh, observed. This uh, restart is due to initiatives led by Iraqi public and private institutions and international research groups, backed by medium and long-term funding schemes promoted by uh, national and international bodies based mostly in Europe and the US, including uh, various EU and UNESCO schemes, the um, Ali Foundation or the uh, Nahrain uh, Network. Uh, overall, the wider aims of this project, uh, supported by uh, the funding scheme that, that I just mentioned, uh, fall within uh, four macro themes. First of all, we have documentation and monitoring of the state of preservation of archaeological sites, followed by conservation of archaeological sites and rehabilitation of monuments. Um, the third uh, is the um, education and training activities of uh, Iraqi university, state or private personnel in the fields of archaeology and cultural heritage. And lastly, um, communication of cultural heritage at uh, local, uh, national and international level. Uh, in this frame, so considering these uh, uh, macro themes, we present uh, um, to, um, sorry, <clears throat> We present today uh, two uh, Euro-Iraqi uh, um, partnerships coordinated by the University of, uh, of Bologna that uh, were um, carried out between 2016 and 2020, which are transversal to all these four macro themes. So the first initiative is the Waladu project. 
uh, WALADO was funded in the framework of the uh, Erasmus Plus Capacity Building Key Action 2 in the field of higher education uh, of the European Union. Uh, and it was developed by a consortium, uh, uh, including national institutions, universities, and international non-governmental bodies, like the uh, last two, sorry, the, um, the last one that uh, you can see uh, on the uh, lower left, which is the um, Association of Arab Universities. Um, the aim of, uh, of, of, of the WALAD project was to contribute to the improvement of the quality of teaching and research in Iraq universities in the field of archaeology and to increase student opportunities within national labor markets. To achieve this scope, the consortium identified a number of specific objectives. This included, for example, to improve teaching and research quality of the academic staff in the three Iraqi partner universities of the World Project, to modernize BA courses in archaeology, providing innovative educational offers, uh, to increase uh, international academic collaboration between EU and Iraqi universities in the field of archaeology, and to develop new connections between Iraq universities and the labor market, the national labor market, I mean, in the field of archaeology in order to facilitate uh, students' opportunities uh, within the labor market itself. The second initiative uh, is the EDU project. Similarly to Waladu, the EDU consortium comprised different European and Iraqi partners working in the field of education and cultural heritage. The 30 months project was funded by the European Union in the frame of the European Civil Society Organization Local Authorities Program in Iraq, and it was coordinated by the University of Bologna. The overall objective of the uh, EDU project was to contribute to, to uh, strengthening social cohesion within the, the Iraqi civil society by improving general awareness on the importance of local cultural heritage and by fostering the idea that Iraqi society is a combination of ancient and modern cultural traits and a pluralistic state. To reach this goal, the EDU team integrated uh, archaeological and ethno-archaeological methodologies together with community engagement practices. Um, moving to the results uh, um, connected to the four macro themes that I just uh, that I um, introduced uh, before, um, while we need, in fact, have been complementary, so they uh, worked. Uh, together, we, we can say, uh, in um, addressing the four macro themes in which the majority of the past and the, and the, and the, and the current international initiatives focus so far. Um, so let's focus on uh, these uh, um, macro themes more in details, and in particular the results that these this, uh, two projects um, provided. So with regard to macro theme one, uh, meaning the documentation and monitoring of the state of preservation of archaeological sites, uh, fieldwork activities conducted by the EDU, uh, EDU team in the eastern Qadisiya region, the Kufa region, uh, the Baghdad regions, and the Wazit region um, allowed to provide a comprehensive picture of the past and current threats and damages to the rich Mesopotamian cultural heritage. Working together with local SBAH authorities, we were able to identify and document different types of threats over more than 600 archaeological sites, among which looting and bluffing uh, played a major role, uh, heavily damaging between 30 and 60 percent of the archaeological sites. Similarly, other types of threats had a strong impact on the heritage of this region. Regions, sorry. These include, for example, the flooding of over 150 archaeological sites between the Qadisiya and the Wazit regions due to the creation of the artificial um, Delmage Reservoir, or the construction of buildings and roads in many parts of these regions. One of the major achievements of these activities was, uh, in fact, a complete mapping of the past and current damages to cultural heritage in these regions. 
Moreover, while current paradigms uh, indicate natural hazards or looting as the most dangerous types of damages, the new data, the new data emerged from the EDU project demonstrate that this narrative is partially wrong and it is shifting the attention of policymakers from um, other equally or more pressing and destructive risks, such as, as we have just seen, the, um, the plathing of fields or the construction of new buildings and, and dams. These results were also, also critical to plan tailor-made activities falling within macro theme uh, two. So there was a, a strict uh, um, connection also between the different macro themes and the, we also took um, consequential, um, we developed consequential solutions that we uh, that were the uh, results of uh, uh, macro theme one in macro theme two um, indeed as i was saying to counteract for example the increasing destruction of archaeological sites we stress the necessity for a widespread distribution of spah officers to better control the sites this is particularly um, urgent in all the regions that uh, we have uh, um, considered in the EDU, EDU project. So, um, but uh, still uh, within Macro Theme 2, besides site management, the EDU activities uh, um, looking at Macro Theme 2, in fact, also focus on the rehabilitation of a couple of museums in the region involved in, in the project. Um, to, to, to this aim, the, um, the, IDU, uh, the IDU team um, rehabilitated and developed new cultural and educational spaces to allow the local communities to learn more about the history of the country, as well as to um, enhance the discussion and, and um, a mutual understanding uh, with SPAH officers and scholars. Our case studies aim at reaching the widest possible audience, keeping in mind the distribution of Iraqi populations in these regions and their access to cultural heritage. Therefore, we decided to contribute first to the uh, re, um, <coughs> sorry, re, um, habilitation of a well-known museum located in an um, urban context and second, to create a new space in the countryside, thus improving the accessibility to cultural place also by rural communities. The first activity that you can see in this slide uh, regarded the improvement of the accessibility of the National Museum of Baghdad, the so-called Iraq Museum. Indeed, one of the main issues concerned the museum attractiveness for younger generations. For this region, the museum's director asked explicitly to the uh, EDU team to create a new educational space dedicated to children, young boys and girls. The EDU team, uh, in collaboration with the museum staff, designed, set up and provided um, a new area with teaching materials, furnishing and uh, equipment useful to facilitate the learning process uh, in children and uh, young adults. The second activity consisted in the uh, renovation and uh, adaptation of a historic government building uh, named the King Ghazi Palace, which is located in the in the um, Iraqi countryside and in particular in the uh, northern part of the Qadisiyah region with the aim of creating Iraq's first landscape museum. Indeed, between 2008, sorry, in 2018, the SBAH officers requested the EDU team to transform this building, which was already very popular among the local people due, for example, to the presence of a large park that surrounds it, into a new cultural space. Um, the new King Ghazi Landscape Museum has the main objective um, of raising awareness on the richness of the local territory, focusing on the relationship between Mesopotamian people and their landscape over millennia. The museum uh, includes six exhibition rooms provided with photographs, maps, 
videos and archaeological artifacts that illustrate the ancient and modern history of Iraq. And, and um, as you can see in the, um, in the plan, um, an um, educational space for, um, for children similar to the room created in the National Museum in Baghdad. Uh, you can find more details uh, uh, on the design and implementation of these two museal projects in two posters uh, presented here in, uh, within the ICANE poster session. Um, the, the, third, uh, the third macro theme, meaning uh, um, education and training activities of Iraqi uh, university, uh, state or private personnel in the field of archaeology and cultural heritage was addressed by the Walado project through a number of training sessions conducted both in Europe and Iraq. Between, two uh, sorry, <clears throat> between 2017 and 2020, um, about 50 scholars, 200 students and 50 SBAH officers were involved in two weeks, uh, up to two months, uh, trainings uh, corresponding to uh, over 1,500 hours of trainings in different fields, including archaeometry, art history, GIS, Near Eastern archaeology, archaeology, etc. Uh, also, uh, regarding this, uh, um, these uh, um, activities conducted within uh, uh, the frame of the Wild Project, you can find more information uh, in, um, in a poster presented here at the ICANA poster session. So I recommend to have a look at it if you want to uh, get more information on it. Um, in order to maximize the teaching and research benefits, we integrated the theoretical session that you uh, just saw before uh, with uh, um, more, uh, more, um, more practical ones, we, we can see. This consisted mostly in archaeological excavations and surveys, including a wide range of activities from digging methodology to topographic documentation and from geoarchaeology uh, to the processing of material culture. Furthermore, um, teaching methodology was improved by providing the Iraqi universities involved in the project with state-of-the-art laboratories, including tools for archaeological research and updated libraries with more than 300 scientific books. This integrated strategy resulted in an overall renewal of the BA courses in archaeology and Assyriology in the three Iraqi universities, as you can see here from the um, courses, uh, the new courses, uh, brochure that we uh, jointly developed. So the improved BA courses in the, uh, at the University of Baghdad, Kufa and Qadisiyah, <clears throat> sorry, included 30 new teaching units in different topics, such as excavation methodology, Islamic archeology, span GIS, museum studies, Assyriology and Egyptian archeology. span Moving to the uh, fourth macro theme, um, Idu and Waladu um, paid a considerable attention also to include communication strategies in order to widen the number of beneficiaries of um, the uh, already mentioned activities. To do so, the teams designed different communication actions at local, national and international level. All these activities were shared through the social media like Facebook and, uh, and, um, and Instagram to reach large and different targets. At local level, in the regions involved in the project, three different bilingual educational comics on the history of Mesopotamia and the importance of the preservation of cultural heritage were, were, uh, um, were, um, were produced and distributed reaching over 300 students. Uh, and also in this case, you can find more details on the comics and videos uh, developed in the frame, of, especially of the um, EDU project um, in a poster that has been um, presented at the ICANE poster session here. At national level, the communication strategies uh, of both uh, Idu and Waladu included, for example, the creation of booklets designed for both young and adults, telling the history of each region, and in particular the region where 
where they live, the, the location of archaeological sites, and also uh, how to um, um, to contribute to the protection of this of these sites. Uh, moreover, in order to improve the, um, the, um, the access to cultural places, several classes from different schools of the uh, regions involved in the project visited the National Museum of Iraq, as well as several archaeological sites. International communication of the Iraqi cultural heritage and the project activities was conducted through the official website, social media, as well as more than 20 promotional videos that have been launched through the YouTube Orient channel, um, Orient Lab channel, sorry, between 2018 and 2020. To date, uh, you can find the link to, to the um, to to the channel uh, in uh, in this slide below. Um, and uh, uh, to date, we can say that the, the video uh, received over 25,000 visualizations from more than 20 countries worldwide, mostly from uh, the um, Near East and uh, Europe. But um, as our commitment towards the uh, enhancement of archaeology and cultural um, heritage uh, did not stop at the end of the two projects, um, a new initiative named BANU was launched in January 2020. BANU is a three years project co-funded by the Erasmus Plus uh, Capacity Building Key Action 2 uh, of the European Union and again um, characterized as uh, both uh, Waladu and Idu by an uh, Euro-Iraqi consortium. The project wishes to continue the long-term strategy of Idu and Waladu, supporting a new generation of uh, Iraqi archaeologists and cultural heritage experts. So building on the increased teaching and research quality of the university scholars and, under and the, the improved understanding of the importance of the national heritage, Banu aims, to, uh, aims at guaranteeing sustainability to these first steps by contributing to the improvement of students' employability in the field of cultural heritage. Thank you. Thank you so much, Federico. Thanks for the presentation. It's a very interesting and uh, diverse project. Uh, I mean, it covers a uh, lot of fields and especially the involvement of local people and children, as we have seen also with the Lebanon project, it's a very interesting aspect. Um, so if there are questions from the audience, please use the public chat. Uh, I have uh, a question. So if I understood correctly, Banu will be the future, right? So Banu is already. Yeah. OK, yeah, so Banu... it's the continuation of the activities uh, that were done before. Yeah, uh, Banu has started in uh, early 2020, uh, in mm -hmm. January. 2020. Okay. Uh, the idea of Banu was to, uh, as I said, building on the, um, in, in, the, the results of both yeah. uh, Waladu and Idu and also of our uh, improved knowledge of the um, general situation of archaeology in uh, um, Iraq. We um, understood uh, during the implementation of both uh, uh, Waladu and Idu that uh, uh, we could uh, um, continue our um, activities by focusing mm -hmm. on uh, specific issues that were still open. Mm -hmm. One of these was certainly the um, employability of uh, mm -hmm. students in archaeology and cultural heritage. Um, because uh, in general, the, the overall situation in, um, in, the, in the field of archaeology and cultural heritage see uh, many uh, um, students uh, to uh, not to find a proper job after after the end mm -hmm. of their uh, academic career. Of course, this is a problem that is uh, is shared by many other countries in the world. But uh, yeah. considering uh, the long uh, history of conflicts and the uh, willingness by not just our project, uh, sorry, not just our team, but many other teams to um, to to contribute to the improvement of the overall situation in Iraq, 
we uh, thought and we we also received uh, good feedbacks from uh, Iraqi colleagues and Iraqi institutions so we thought that um, focusing on the improvement of employability of uh, um, of, uh, of students um, in um, Iraq was was um, was was very important. And uh, one thing that we uh, have done uh, um, within the Bano project uh, um, during the um, this um, this conference was also to uh, present, uh, um, and uh, you can um, anyone can um, can. Um, can access them through the uh, yeah. Banu website. Um, the, uh, some uh, startup uh, startup projects that have been developed by different groups of students. So what we have done uh, during the last year, despite the overall COVID situation, which of course um, created some issues, but also uh, but did not stop. Uh, uh, I would say the uh, overall uh, activities of the Banu project was to um, start uh, different uh, uh, online training activities, which mm -hmm. ended up in the uh, creation of uh, startup projects that, again, you can find on the uh, Banu website. Um, uh, and uh, that represent a first step uh, uh, for Iraqi students to develop ideas for future uh, jobs mm -hmm. related to what they have studied. Mm -hmm. So these are training activities for, for the Iraqi students that can... Uh, both uh, for Iraqi students uh -huh. and Iraqi scholars. Of course, the okay. targets are, are the students and the project mm -hmm. that startup projects have been mostly developed by the student but for us it was important also for the students to have the support and coordination by yeah. Uh, yeah. more experienced scholars uh, which can which yeah. in fact uh, have been very um, very um, very helpful in this uh, in this regard uh, and yeah. I, I also want to uh, thank our um, uh, the other members of the uh, Banu team uh, um, both the, the all the um, Iraqi, Iraqi colleagues as well as the colleagues from uh, the University of Turin and the Coach University which uh, did uh, an amazing job and great uh, great support uh, to yeah. this uh, to the implementation of these of these activities yeah no and then I think it's good to find uh, original solution to the problem that we are all experiencing that uh, it's difficult to go there at least uh, in in our case, for example, we we couldn't uh, go to northern Iraq anymore. So <laughs> it's good to to you know to carry on with projects anyway. Um, so I have a comment uh, from uh, Alias. Uh, thank you for sharing this. It gives hope for cultural heritage in our region, and this is uh, indeed very true. Um, just a quick question about the uh, site damage. Uh, mm -hmm. So how? Uh, how far is the mapping? So, is, like, um, so did you cover uh, what region did you cover for the site damage map, uh, mm -hmm. and how was this done? Like, uh, going there or using remote um, sensing or things like this? Well, we actually uh, used uh, both methodologies. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, uh, part of this of this uh, work has uh, has been uh, has been um, already presented so i'll mm -hmm. try to be because i see that we have a few minutes so i'll i'll try to be uh, as clear as possible in the, in the in the few remaining time basically what we have done was to uh, work in um, mostly in the Cadizia, in the kufa and the wasit region uh, of course uh, uh, due to the dimensions of these regions we couldn't uh, uh, cover mm -hmm. all of them um, the Edu team, um, the different Edu team worked in the different regions, and in total, we were uh, able, as I said, to um, document more than 600 sites um, mm -hmm. by means first of uh, uh, preliminary um, identification through remote sensing. So we used mm -hmm. um, we used a more um, popular system, I would say, for. For example, um, we we started with um, Google Earth um, imagery, so we're using uh, um, open access satellite imagery provided by Google Earth, and then of course we also integrated these first results with uh, um, other types of satellite imagery, 
um, download uh, from uh, different uh, um, different platforms, uh, USGS, yeah. um, Corona Atlas, and and, mm. and so forth. Is this a, uh, yes, environment? Yeah, is, is this uh, uh, plan to be an ongoing thing? Because damage is uh, you know evolve like you know sure. especially. In the northern Iraq, every time we go, there is a new road. And so <laughs> sometimes you need to update uh, all yeah. this. So I hope that it can continue this mapping and maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are, uh, we are uh, working on this. So we have uh, uh, extensively um, published the, the, the results of this, of this research, but we are, we are still working on it. And just to conclude, the, the, the sec of, of course, after this remote sensing, mm -hmm. We uh, then also went to the field uh, to to do to conduct uh, yeah like ground uh, truthing validation work. yes yeah and uh, of course uh, uh, not always in all the sites because uh, uh, you can understand mm -hmm. uh, more than six hundred sites uh, uh, how I mean it's it's such a huge yeah, sample yeah, yeah. That we were able no, to that's good to do it yeah to validate most of the places with uh, okay. with uh, through uh, ground truthing yeah thank you, you so much. So Thank you.